National Lottery winning line with your host, Simon Mayo. Uh, you're married to Julie with two kids, Samantha and Robert, and you're really, really into heavy rock and roll music. Yeah. Like uh, Guns N' Roses mm -hmm. and Deep Purple, where you can get down and get your long hair and just... That was when I was younger. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Actually, it says you're black belt in karate, so I take it all back. Thank you. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, our six contestants for tonight. Ian. 48. What do you think the question's going to be? Susie Quattro, 48 Crash. You're absolutely right. It is 48. You stay in the game. <laughs> Susie Quattro information was never so important as <laughs> that moment, man. Okay, still 10, 40, and 48 for the answers. Uh, which 1979 film starred... Brian? 10. Explain what you think the question's going to be. Bo Derek. Which 1979 film starred Dudley Moore and Bo Derek? The answer is 10. You're absolutely right. There, you're losing from the game. I'm sorry. So it's head to head, guys. It's Brian versus Ian. The only possible answers are 40 and 48. The winner will be going through to the Wonder Wall. We wish you the best. This is a bit like with Wimbledon starting, it's a bit like a tie break. It might just go like that. We might be here for some time. And <laughs> Dylan Pasco has to get knocked on through the schedule. Okay. How many hours featured in the title? Ian. 48 hours. Explain what you think the question is. Eddie Murphy, Nick Nolte, 48 hours. Is the right answer. You stay in the game. We continue. In total, how many separate sets of Roman numerals appear on all the clock faces of Big Ben? Ian. 48. Is the right answer. You stay in the game. 40 and 48 are the only answers. Prince Charles was born in 19 what? Yes, Brian. 40. You think he was born in 1940? I'm not sure if you still think that. <laughs> Prince Charles was born in 1948. I'm afraid we lose you from the game and congratulations to Ian who plays the Wonder Wall! <laughs> First of all, Ian, Ian Sharples from Preston. That was extraordinarily exciting. Yeah, I hope you're not sweating too much. Just a little. Okay. And if Wimbledon is half as exciting as that, it's going to be a cracking fortnight. Mm. Did you know the answer? Just have interest. Did you know the answer to that Prince Charles question at the end? I did, but not fast enough. Well, hey, you're here, yeah, yeah. and uh, we know that you're going to be winning a holiday. The question is which one, which is where the Wonder Wall comes in, because in a moment. I'm going to start asking Ian a series of questions. The answers to those questions will appear shortly on the wonder wall behind him. Now, the answers are numbered 1 to 49, and he has to give me the correct answer and its number. And as usual, the more he gets right, the further his flight. 20 is what he's aiming for, and that gets him the round-the-world trip. If he gets just one right, it's, um, well, trust me, he doesn't really want to know, frankly. We want you to do as well as possible. Okay? Got some deep breathing going on yeah. there. You have three minutes. Now you have that orange buzzer. It's the pit stop buzzer. Okay. You have two goes at that in the three minutes. When you press it, you get 15 seconds free time. You can hit it at any time. Mid question, mid answer. If you're panicking a bit, you just need to look at the board again. That's when you use it. You have two pit stops in the three minutes. Do you understand? Yes, fine. Are you okay? Fine, All thank right. you. Let's play Wonder Wall. Reveal the answers, please. Ian, you have 15 seconds to look at the board. Take in all the names. Take in all the numbers. I need answers and numbers. You have three minutes starting in just a second. Okay, we're playing. Which fictional detective was created by Agatha Christie? Poirot, 33. Correct. AU is the chemical symbol for which metal? Gold, 20. Correct. 
The parable of the Good Samaritan features in which book of the Bible? Luke 38. Correct. Which member of the Osmonds had a hit with paper roses? Taking a pit stop. Good idea. Two minutes and 25. Still to play with. You got three right. You're going fantastically. Keep looking at the board. Which member of the Osmonds had a hit with paper roses? Marie 42. Hang on. The answer again? Marie 42. Is correct. Basmati is a variety of which food? Rice 44. Correct. What is the first name of Harry Corbett's son who took over as Sooty's Minder? Matthew 12. Correct. Henry IV, Henry V and Henry VI belong to which royal house? Lancaster 47. Correct. What was the name of Steptoe and Son's horse? Hercules 18. Correct. Which musical features the song Oh What a Beautiful Morning? Oklahoma 17. Correct. Which bear took his name from the London railway station where he was found? Paddington 46. Correct. What is the German unit of currency? Mark 5. Correct. Which Shakespearean character speaks the line, is this a dagger which I see before me? Macbeth 30. Correct. Which sport has periods of play called chuckers? Polo 34. Correct. In the TV sitcom Rising Damp, what was the name of Rigsby's cat? Rebecca 25. No, it's Vienna. What slang word do the Americans use for lavatory? John 35. Correct. American comedian Jack Benny is associated with which instrument? Viola 39. No, it's violin. What was the name of the Lone Ranger's horse? Silver 9. Correct. What is the name of the rubber disc used like a ball in ice hockey? Hook 41. Correct. In the Bible, who had a coat of many colors? Joseph 15. Correct. What are bratwurst and chipolatas? Sausages, 48. Correct. Which dolphin starred in a long-running TV Flipper, series? 32. Correct. Which monarch succeeded King William IV? Pit stop. 30 seconds to go. You need one more for a round-the-world cruise. You're on 19. Which monarch succeeded King William IV? Ian, take it all in. We've got plenty of time. We're playing again. Victoria 6. Is the right answer. Do you do manly hugs? That was awful one. We thought that we would have to get like to show seven or eight before we might be giving away a round the world cruise. You know what you've won.